Hey y'all, Eli Duckworth here with the Armory Life. I've got a fun one, uh, just a quick video to go over with you. I've got my workout, I've got some dinner in me, and I've got a shower. So let's get into it. It's about midnight here, but that's never stopped me before. So what are we talking about today? We're talking about the Galco Speed Paddle. The Galco Speed Paddle was featured in the Netflix show, I believe it is, Longmire. And for the longest time, I, I refer to this as the Longmire Holster. The sheriff of Absaroka County uh, carries a 1911, the greatest pistol ever, in this holster. And ever since I saw that show, I wanted this holster. So finally, I got the holster. It's awesome. I also got a couple other things to go with it. But the, the craftsmanship is amazing. You will not find this kind of craftsmanship. It's just not there with, with Kydex holsters. It's Kydex holsters to me seem soulless. Like I don't I just I don't like them very much. I do use them some, but for the most part I try to keep everything leather. I just like it. I just like leather. And this is has this is the gold standard for me for leather. Um, it's double stitched in some places, premium premium leather. Um, you expect nothing less from Galco. But this is a pretty cool, because this is kind of old and new going together. You've got the paddle on the back, so you can kind of put it in and out of your belt without having to unwind uh, the belt all the way and pull out the holster and all that mess. You just pull the holster out when you need it, but the best part is it does have some ledges in here, so when the holster is on, it's not going to bring the holster out when you draw the pistol. So pretty cool there and just it looks amazing so most of the time I carry it with the Springfield Vickers tactical pretty awesome but as you can tell this gun is kind of bland it's black and green you know um, doesn't really do this Kydex holster justice now the Springfield Ronin in 10 millimeter look at that beauty uh, blued slide stainless steel frame now that is a beautiful combination. The Galco Speed Paddle has a retention screw here so you can tighten it down to make it kind of tight on the pistol so it doesn't fall out. And as you can see I have carried this for about a year and it's not really lost any of its uh, rigidity. So pretty cool and let me just tell you the people at Galco they make phenomenal products. So with that I have the Galco belt this is the let's see here don't forgot sb2 fantastic belt though brass belt buckle beautiful leather i have wore the heck out of this belt and it still keeps going it's the perfect belt for the speed paddle and i highly suggest if you do end up getting the speed paddle to grab one of these belts with it it's beautiful look at that color that is a beautiful color i've wore this with a lot of suits with that holster and then also I have the double magazine pouch from Galco with the paddle as well. Really cool, really awesome. Same thing with the holster. If you need to get them off for whatever reason, you can just pop them off. But if you you know go to pull out a magazine, it's not going to bring the magazine pouch with the holster. Or, or excuse me, it's not going to bring the magazine pouch with the magazine. You're going to be able to get to that magazine pretty easily. It does have retention screws, two of them here on the middle. The only thing I do want to tell you is if you do plan on getting this holster for concealed carry, you might want to rethink it as a dedicated concealed carry holster. I like to carry this um, with a suit or a jacket like what I have on right now, but for Anything else, anything lighter, it is going to stick out just a little bit, so you need to keep that in consideration when you go to wear this holster. Now, for open carry, phenomenal, and you'll be the coolest guy in the room. They'll be like, man, look at that dude's holster. It's super sick. So just keep that in mind. And this is definitely the holster I choose when I go out into the woods uh, with this pistol, the 10 millimeter Ronin, because uh, 10 millimeter takes care of anything in the North Carolina woods. So. That's kind of what I go out in the woods with when I do go. So I know this is a brief overview of the Galco Speed Paddle. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if you have any other questions, make sure you get into that forum on the Armory Life. We can talk, we can have a chat, and uh, 
get on the range. I know it's tough. I know it's tough, but even if you can't get on the range, get some dry fire practice in. Stay vigilant and keep your powder dry. This is Eli Duckworth with the Armory Life. Thank you so much for joining me, and I'll see you next time.